This is part three of my nail journey. I'm trying to stop biting my nails. This is what my nails look like right now for being three weeks so far. And so I want to focus in this video on my picking though because I've been really bad on it. And so I want to try to break the habit as well as not biting. And so just for reference of what my nails looked like before, I'm going to show you and put a picture or a video here when I started my journey. Right now I figured out why I started picking recently a lot is because my nails have grown out so much a little bit and they have I haven't filed them ever since and so they feel a bit rough on the edges especially here and they're a bit uneven and so that always makes me want to just do this and start picking at my skin and that's what leads to this so that's what I want to fix and so the first thing I'm going to use is this buffer and shines your nails so I'm going to use this to smooth the edges of my nails like this and also make them shiny they feel a lot more smooth right now when I do this so this will definitely help if you feel anxious this will help you feel less tempted to pick because your nails are not as rough. I'm just rounding my edges like this and I would recommend to keep a nail file wherever you go because whenever you're tempted to bite or pick your nails, I'd recommend to pull this out instead. So that's what I'm going to do is just round my edges of my nails and even them out and also shine my nails with this side of the buffer. And so I'm going to follow the steps of this nail file and show you a few steps on what you should do next. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'll get back to you once I buff them and also clean my edges. Alright, I'm pretty much done buffing my nails. This is what they look like. And they're all, all shiny. And I really like how it turned out. I definitely recommend something like that just to smooth out your nails. And so they make me feel less tempted to pick at my nails and also bite them because they feel pampered and everything. It's nice to pamper your nails sometimes like this just to treat them well and so this is what my nails look like all buffed out. I just stopped myself starting to pick at my cuticles here and before I go any further I just wanted to pull out my camera and show it it's, and fix this problem before it gets any worse and feel more tempted to pick at it so I'm just going to use my cuticle cutter and just cut that hangnail instead of picking at it more because that's what creates this problem is when I just do it not even knowing until it actually hurts so I'm fixing the problem before it gets worse that's the way to resolve the issue here and so now I don't feel as tempted to start picking and make it worse the next thing I would recommend that will help you stop picking or biting your cuticles or nails would be a cuticle oil. This is the Orly's Argan cuticle oil. It would just moisturize your cuticles and also make them softer and feel less tempted to want to pick them or bite them. And also on the bottle it says it maintains cuticle and nail health. What I would do with the Orly Argan cuticle oil is put it on my nails and then I would massage each fingernail and make sure to get it all dissolved onto my cuticles and my nails. You can put this cuticle oil on bare or polished nails and it just nourishes and conditions your nails and cuticles which is healthy for your nails and then I would just recommend to reapply daily at during bedtime. So this is what my nails look like for not biting for four weeks so far and I'm pretty happy about how they look right now and also it's been one week of me trying not to pick around my nails and so pretty much this thumb has healed and I'm just trying to grow out my cuticles. They're still a little bit puffy as you can see but I'm getting better at not picking at them and so yeah I just have to continue on this journey to get the results I want. Now I can tap on the table with my fingernails so you can make that noise now. I used to not be able to do that so I feel pretty accomplished so far on how they're turning out. I've honestly have been a terrible picker before. I find some excuse or way to try to pick at my cuticles and so I found that keeping my hands occupied 
and doing something fun with my hands like weaving has helped me keep my mind off of looking at my nails and thinking about them so I recommend you to keep your hands busy so you're not tempted to pick at them I know it will be challenging at times but I believe we can do it to break this habit I think it's time to switch out my hand gel I've been using it's called the winter wonderland and I got it from Bath and Body Works and I just only have a, a couple more times I could use it so I'm gonna switch it to this as a stress relief from Bath and Body Works. I honestly haven't been using hand gel that much and I've collected a bunch of them from Bath and Body Works but now since at this time I've been using it more often so yeah I'm gonna use this one. This is my next one I'm gonna be using after I completely finish this. It's it's honestly pretty much done but been using these products and to make my hands smell nice and fresh and clean. As I was about to head to bed, I got this annoying hangnail on my pointer finger and so I'm trying to just going to just take this off so it doesn't annoy me for the rest of the night and then tomorrow I'll file it down to make it even. So yeah, that's that's really annoying, but at least I'll just get it off so I don't have the temptation to pick it even more. It's just coming off right now. It's just, let's see. I think it's it's off right now. It's just now a really rough, rigid edge. So tomorrow I'll just file it to make it even and smooth. I can't believe it's only been about five weeks since I started this journey. My nails have grown so fast, I feel like, and I like how the length they are at right now. They're pretty long compared to what they were before and can't believe that they're my real nails. I'm pretty happy on how my nails are turning out. I'm really excited on polishing them and doing my own manicures and everything, but I'm still trying to stop picking. I have to admit, I still have to f work on that. I've been trying to. I do agree that I've been less tempted to pick at my cuticles so they're not as bad so here like for example i've been trying to watch myself when i do pick i'm back at myrtle beach and when i got here i realized that i forgot my whole suitcase at home and in that i had all my nail care materials in there and so i honestly have been pretty bad a little bit on tempting to pick my cuticles and so I want to try to fix that. I have this Impress gel manicures that I had in my backpack and I'm hoping to, if I put this on, it'll help me prevent from wanting to pick my nails even further. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Since my nails feel kind of dry, I've been tempted to pick at my cuticles. So hopefully this will work on helping me prevent from picking at my nails. This is another Empress gel set that I've used before and I'm hoping after this I don't have to buy any more acrylic nails or tips because I'll have my own real ones that I can do my own manicures on. So I'm just going to put these on all my nails and see the difference on how they feel since I've tried these on, on my shorter nails when I was first on this journey. And I want to see the difference between when I had longer nails compared to when I had shorter nails. So let's see how they feel when they're all on. I really like this sparkly accent color that they come with. I can already tell the difference between when I first put this on on my bitten nails compared to now that they feel a lot more sturdier on my nails than they were before. They were so loose when I were was putting these on and was afraid that they were going to even come off the first day I had them. They feel a lot better on my nails and I don't feel as worried of them falling off the first day, which is pretty good, I feel like. And they're easy to put on, which is nice. Here's my last one to put on and all right, I put them all on and here's what the Ampress gel manicures look like on me. I really like the accent color. That's my favorite part. And then I'm hoping I'll be able to get to this length one day. And so I have another set left, looks like, that I can use later on whenever I feel like it. So I'll save this 
for later on. And so I'm hoping that this will help me prevent from picking at my cuticles. Maybe I'll be able to last these this unpressed gel manicures longer than last time. It was only four days that I was able to keep these on. So let's see how long I'll be able to do it now. I'm planning to end this part here and continue on in part four. I hope you're in enjoying this nail journey so far and find it maybe somewhat interesting or helping you motivate yourself to stop biting your nails or picking. And so this is what I've been doing to prevent and help me. So let me know if any of my tips helped you in some way or you've tried them out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you did and also comment down below what you would like to see in the future and subscribe if you want to see more content from me and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.